Uh, name is Bergen Nelson. I'm go-to-market manager for harvesting equipment at John Deere. For 2026, we're advancing our automation features on our combine. So model year 25 was a big year for both X9 and S-Series, introducing predictive ground speed automation and harvest settings automation. And here at the show, we're talking about incremental features to predictive ground speed automation, uh, in particular weed detection, where the cameras on the front of the combine can now see the weed pressure in the field, and the combine will speed up and slow down based off of that. Because we know as we approach a weedy patch in the field, we need to slow down the machine. So now we can automatically let the cameras do that for us. And in addition, the weed detection will give a uh, weed pressure map in operation center. So if growers want to go back and review their fields and see what, where the weed pressure was during the time of harvest, they'll be able to do that. So these features are being launched for 2026. So they'll be available during the EOP uh, beginning in the August timeframe. But if a customer has a Model Year 25 machine and they, they have purchased the ultimate uh, package with the machine and have the cameras, they'll need the ultimate combine license, which will include uh, predictive ground speed automation, harvest settings automation, and all the G5 advanced features that we have available today. And another one is uh, harvest settings automation. So that was out last year where it automatically changes the five main combine settings. We're adding a new feature, which is out of crop adjustment. So when the machine exits the field into an area that's already been harvested, it'll automatically change the settings to say, for example, your chaffer, your sieve, or your fan speed to slow those down or close it down to keep all the grain in the machine versus blowing it out the back when we're not bringing all that material through the combine. The other uh, new feature that we're talking about here is Combine Auto Unload, which is an enhancement to Machine Sync. Machine Sync has been around for a while, where the grain cart can sync up to the combine, and then the combine operator can nudge the cart forward, backwards, or side to side. But now, with Combine Auto Unload, we're putting a camera on the unloading auger, and once the grain cart syncs up to the combine, the camera will uh, be calibrated to the grain cart. It'll automatically move it forward and backwards, eliminating that, that step from the combine operator. We have a huge update in front end equipment, which is really geared towards the Western produ producer. Uh, standing behind me is our three piece reel. Um, so that is new for 2026, um, building upon our foundation of our HDF heads and HDR. So HDF or HDR will be compatible with a three piece reel. And that three-piece reel really gives us the ability to maintain a really consistent cutter bar to reel relationship as the wings flex. Uh, in the past, as the wings would flex, you'd have a gap in the center section, and now that is eliminated with the three-piece reel. The three-piece reel also has additional tines, so there's uh, only four inches between each tine, and that equates to 32% more tines across the head, allowing us to really capture those, those crops, whether it's pulse crops or low potting crops, peas, lentils, this reel is really geared towards the western producer. Um, in addition to the, the three-piece and the reel tines, we also have the cam reel on this head, and that'll be available. Um, as well as a retrofitable kit if you wanted to put the cam reel specifically on any HDF, HDR, or RDF heads. The best way to find information on our new features is to visit your local John Deere dealer or you can go to deere.com and find all the new updates.